An adult Tyrannosaurus rex is 12 meters long from nose to tail. Its arm is tiny. The lower arm bone is just 22 centimeters. That's less than 2% of its body length. By comparison, the predator Velociraptor has a lower arm bone that's proportionally three times longer, a more useful 6% of its body length. T-Rex had arms far shorter for its size than any other predatory dinosaur. When we look at you know, the actual arms, we can see that T-Rex couldn't put its arms together, has very little motion on them, probably couldn't do any more than scratch its belly after it ate. Horner was now puzzled. This just didn't add up. He began to wonder if, for over a century, the common perception of T-Rex had been wrong. For years, people had just assumed that T-Rex was a killer. And no one had questioned it. I mean, it just, it was sort of ingrained into everyone's minds from, from the time they were kids to grown-ups. But, you know, once we had the Wankel T-Rex and we could actually see a whole specimen, it was really quite clear that it was very, very different than predatory dinosaurs. So Jack Horner continued his rigorous scientific investigation to find out if anything else about T-Rex didn't add up. The next place Horner looked was the teeth. He looked not only at T-Rex teeth, but at the teeth of other dinosaurs known to be predators. And again, he noticed a significant difference. A T-Rex tooth is long, strong, and slightly curved, a bit like a banana. In cross-section, it's almost round. A very robust design, strong enough to pulverize bone. But the teeth of predators like Velociraptor or Deinonychus are different. This Velociraptor tooth is blade-like and serrated. Its cross-section is laterally compressed, just like a steak knife, which makes it ideal for slicing through flesh. It begs the question, if Velociraptor and Deinonychus are, are predatory dinosaurs and they have laterally compressed, flattened teeth, and T-Rex doesn't, then T-Rex must be doing something different. 